Hi everyone, Michael Puglis again, here with Caitlin Macy. Today we're going to be doing our switch demonstration and I want to talk a little bit about the switch concept and where it came from. Uh, the switch is marketed as an alternative to chemical peels and we know that uh, chemical exfoliation is a mainstay of a lot of our aesthetic treatments in professional skincare. However, we definitely consider this to be an exfoliation happy industry. We work with a lot of chemical peels but we know it's obviously not a one-size-fits-all application and everybody has varying degrees of need for exfoliation. Some very heavy, thick, keratinized skins need more aggressive, some not nearly as much. However, the switch treatment was developed by Dr. Puglis and the concept for it many, many years ago, uh, more so for the uh, appearance of so much alpha hydroxy acid on uh, the marketplace that he thought knowing that this is something that we're starting to see the mechanism of damaging the skin to its site repair push to its limitations, push to its maximum. So he really started to think about, well, what can we do to incite repair without actually having to damage the skin first? And being a, a physician, a skin physiologist, a cosmetic formulator for decades, he started to look at what does the repair cycle entail? What does the uh, repair and damage mechanism ultimately do to the skin once we apply these acids? And of course, epidermal cell turnover and fibroblast activity are two of the big mainstays that we actually see. Yes, we're getting rid of what's on the top, but actually getting rid of the surface protein is really only the beginning to seeing what happens when you damage the skin to incite repair. When we look at the switch system, what we're utilizing are materials like alpha keto acids, pyruvic and succinic acid. They can be considered to be um, somewhat exfoliative, but they really work from an inside out perspective. When you look at the mitochondria, the mitochondria is the organelle that's found within the cells that use oxygen and glucose for the purposes of ATP production, really cellular respiration. And one of the classic signs of aging is the lack of ATP or a lack of energy. We use in the switch solution pyruvic and succinic to really induce more ATP production. So that's really what we're focusing on here when it comes to the switch treatment so that we can get a lot of the same results that we would want and expect from a chemical peel really without having to damage the skin first. You can almost think of it very similar to the mechanism of a vitamin A where it's inducing cell turnover from the bottom up versus just simply removing the surface proteins as we get with traditional methods of exfoliation. So it really is different concept altogether and one of the reasons why it's been so popular for us and really considered to be uh, the signature treatment in the Circadia range. Now there's a multi-step when it comes to the application. We have a cleansing step that we allow. It's a foaming cleanser. Uh, that has a little bit of manual exfoliation to it. We're using uh, polyethylene alternatives to allow for a little bit of rigidity to remove stratum corneum. We also have a prep solution that allows for a little bit deeper penetration of the active solution called the EpiPrep. Can actually help to create little spaces in the lipid matrix to allow for a deeper penetration of what's called the switch solution, which contains the pyruvic and the succinic acid. And that's really what we're uh, trying to achieve is much more deep penetration of the pyruvic and the succinic. We want to get them as close as we can to the lower layers of the skin where they can function on a cellular level to induce that ATP production. Now, when we look at the uh, Krebs cycle and where succinic acid and pyruvic acid are positioned, we have pyruvic at the top and succinic at the bottom. So when we see these being taken up by the cell, we can actually see this system spinning a little bit faster and it's going to kick off more molecules of ATP. Once that happens, it also initiates even further ATP production through another system, a little bit more technical, called oxidative phosphorylation. So it really is working with the overall biology of the skin to create a much more holistic approach versus just simply using traditional methods of exfoliation to damage the skin and then incite the repair system.
Now, what we have first is the cleansing step that Caitlin has just completed. And then we are applying now the EpiPrep solution first. Now, the EpiPrep traditionally will stay on for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes upwards of 20, depending on uh, the client. Traditionally, we'll have them keep it on for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how long or how many times we've actually had the treatment. But ultimately, the goal is to build up to in the neighborhood of about 30 minutes prior to the application of the switch solution. But we don't want to have the EpiPrep on for longer than 30 minutes because, again, it is a penetration enhancer. So the switch is appropriate for all areas of visible signs of aging, areas that have been exposed to ultraviolet radiation in particular, where you're seeing visible signs of aging. So it can be uh, the forehead all the way to the face, down the neck and decollete as well. Now, when it comes to the removal of the EpiPrep solution, we're going to again be using dry 4x4s and just kind of blotting the area dry, just removing the excess EpiPrep solution. Now, because the EpiPrep is a, an enhancer, a penetration enhancer, we want to be diligent when it comes to removing the product. Some of the negative aspects of the EpiPrep solution is that they will draw in the pyruvic and succinic acid a little bit deeper into the skin. And because it is a cell proliferator, because it does induce uh, epidermal proliferation, sometimes we can see a little bit of additional blemishing, uh, a little bit of additional unwarranted redness when it comes to the application of that switch solution. So we want to make sure that we're removing the pre EpiPrep very diligently, particularly along the hairline and again in the any type of deeper folds or lines that can ap appear in expression areas. Uh, vertical lines on the upper lip, around the eyes, nasal labial folds, or on the forehead as well. So now we've actually removed the EpiPrep with the hydrating cleanser. Uh, again, being very diligent to make sure that we've got all the product off the surface of the skin and we're getting ready to apply the switch solution. But we wanna make sure that we are removing all of that EpiPrep, removing it from the hairline and any kind of creases that are found in the skin, any deeper lines or folds. Now, as far as your uh, ideal audience, this is more for a, an anti-aging treatment, more for a mature clientele. Typically 40 plus is when you start to see ATP uh, dramatically decline in uh, surface of the skin in the body in general, and then we'll start to see those cell turnover cycles begin to slow dramatically. Between 35 and 40, again, is really where we start to see it, but after 40 is when it dips off dramatically. We'll start to see higher levels of visible aging, photo damage, expression lines. So the more mature the client, typically the better the results that we'll begin to see with the switch. Each treatment is designed to be done once a month, and it's best if it's done in a series. Now the switch application, we want to make sure again we're getting one even layer. So similar to uh, a chemical exfoliation, you don't want to overlap the product, but this is one of the most important steps that you're not reapplying and going over multiple areas on uh, multiple occasions. So one even layer is really the best uh, approach. The client will definitely experience uh, some significant heat. However, it's not with a traditional peel where it has a tendency to build up the heat sensation they'll feel it get hot for about one to two minutes at the most, and then they'll experience a significant dissipation in that heat relatively quickly. Um, they may experience or require a little bit of fanning in between. However, uh, it's relatively quick, relatively abrupt, and then after that, they can f experience almost no sensation whatsoever. In fact, a little bit of a cooling sensation can, be, uh, can oftentimes be felt. We also see some redness oftentimes with the application, which is what we call the bloom, a very friendly way that it has a tendency to get warm and red. The redness will persist sometimes up to about 24 hours or so, but that dissipates with the fraction five, which is part of the home care application. So usually about two minutes is enough fanning for the client to alleviate some of that warming sensation. Then we wait about 30 minutes and then we apply the fraction five. Now, initially, the client needs to have the fraction fly applied in the treatment room, but after a few treatments, once the client knows that this is a step that they can anticipate and they can expect, you can oftentimes send the client home with the fraction five, knowing that 30 minutes afterwards, that this is something that they're going to have to apply themselves. 
Now, within each kit, you've got enough to do at least 10 treatments with the home care. So they're going to get the switch solution, they get the cleanser, they get the EpiPrep, and they get 10 of each of the vitamin veil and the fraction 5 that comes with it. The vitamin veil and fraction 5 is enough to use for at least three to five days post care. And now Caitlin's applying the fraction 5. And the fraction 5 has a number of ingredients for helping to maintain the overall results and the activity of the switch for the next at least 30 days for the next treatment. This series is designed to be done once a month. We'd like to see at least uh, six treatments done, uh, uh, sitting anywhere from six to 12 treatments, but the client can expect some great results after just one initial treatment. And the client loves the skin, the, the way that the skin looks after just one application.